Shalom, this is Info Live TV, broadcasting live from Jerusalem, Sunday, March 25th. I'm Margot Dudkevich. Iran rejected the newly imposed United Nations sanctions calling to stop its uranium enrichment program. Iranian Foreign Minister Manusher Multaki declared that Iran had no intention of suspending the program. Meanwhile, 15 British soldiers captured at gunpoint by the Iranian Revolutionary Guard on Friday remain in Tehran. A flurry of diplomatic activity continues to secure their release. UN Secretary General Ban Ki-moon demands the release of IDF soldier Gilad Shalit. During his first visit to the Palestinian territories on Sunday, Moon called for the release of Shalit, held captive by terrorists in Gaza. Moon praised the Palestinian people for their resilience during a visit to a refugee camp near Bethlehem. Prime Minister Hod Olmert declared his utmost support for Vice Premier Shimon Peres' election as president on Sunday. We will fight fairly to have him appointed as president, Olmert said. Bereaved parents of soldiers killed in the Second Lebanon War sent a letter to the Knesset asking members to oppose his appointment. Wine and Matzot exports for Passover holidays hit a new rise. According to local reports, over 22,000 bottles of wine have been dispatched abroad for the holiday. The Israel-England match for the 2008 qualifiers ends in a draw. The football match for the 2008 Euro qualifiers ended in a draw on Saturday night at the Ramat Gun Stadium. Thousands of British fans thronged to nightclubs and bars where they drowned their sorrows in beer. This is Margot Dudkevich for InfoLive TV reporting from our new offices in the heart of Jerusalem where we will bring you the news from Israel 24 hours a day. Infolive.tv, the world's first television channel broadcasting on the web in four languages, live from Jerusalem. If you want a direct look at Israel and the Middle East, Infolive TV is there, at the heart of the information, at the heart of history, at the heart of Israel. Infolive.tv